it up y'all i'm sorry i look a little crusty i'm gonna fix that but don't worry about that right now um but today is march 7th i think today is march 7th and if not it's the 8th one of those days um but i believe it's the 7th so today i'm gonna start my no heat journey because half of my hair is breaking off like this side of my hair is just breaking off while this side is like extremely long so for one, my hair is not long yet, but I'm supposed to be going to the store to go get me some products, so I'm about to go run right now. I'm going to just film today on how to do my bed to nuts. Y'all just going to see me doing my hair, basically. I'm not going to do no, um, no, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> my mind is going a little blank, but y'all just going to see, like, what I'm doing today. This is going to be, like, a half vlog, but half just showing y'all, like, my journey or whatever. And that's just gonna be about it today. I haven't been feeling feeling like filming much because I've just been so busy with work and school and stuff like that. And I just haven't really got the chance to film. And I really don't know what to film. Like, I don't know what y'all wanna see from me. Like, I know it's people that like to watch me or one person that likes to watch me. Um, and I know that consistency is the key to all that. So I just have to keep throwing videos out there and Hopefully, it'll just be interesting and it'll come with time. So, I'm about to go run to the store. Um, and I guess I'm going to pick out the products that I need for my hair. And then I'm going to come back and wash my hair. And then I'm going to just do whatever I need to do. So, I'll see you guys when I get to the beauty supply store. I'm back from the store. Yeah, my hair looks crazy because it's the before. But I got me some cleansing shampoo and hydrating conditioner here. And then I got me some curl stretcher, cream rinse, and then I have me some coconut curling cream. Um, I'm probably just going to be using the three of these today. I'm not sure if I'm going to touch the curling cream yet, but I heard that this was a really good product. And then I'm also going to be using this oil here. Um, I really don't know like what it's called. I don't know if you can kind of see that. There you go. But that's what I'm going to be using today. Normally, this is what I normally use. I normally use my uh, Shea Moisture um, shampoo and then I use the conditioner. But today, I'm just going to be using Cantu. Today, my Shea Moisture is just going to have to wait. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, I might be in the shower. Go ahead and do this and then I'll just show y'all after effect and then i'm just gonna be talking you all through my bed to nights whatever so see y'all when i get up show Okay, y'all, so this is after I got out the shower. I am currently conditioning my hair. Um let's be showing y'all the conditioner. I put my hair in four sections and I am about to apply the oil to my hair. Now normally because of how my hair is set up um normally if i put too much it becomes too stringy so i usually just put oil in my hair while i'm conditioning and then i would just rinse it out with like cold water that way it's not as much oil but the oil still seeps somehow in my scalp so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just putting the oil in in every section make sure i'm not rubbing it in real good while the conditioner is still in there and then I'll probably go to condition my hair probably about for an hour, maybe an hour, 30 minutes, maybe 45. And then I will just rinse it right out. So that's what I'm doing right now. The next thing I'm doing right now is I'm taking out each section one by one and I'm about to comb right through there. That way the conditioner is evenly um spread it out in each section also uh, this is a better way for me personally to detangle my hair i usually tangle it with the conditioner in my hair so everything can come out smoothly and you see how well that is detangling my hair my hair is normally tangled as crap that's why i usually do it with the conditioner so it makes it a little easier but um yeah that's just what i'm doing um it really helps me detangle or get my hair detangled a lot um and by the time that i usually do my hair my hair is usually good with no tangles or any complications and or anything like that 
Now, right now, I'm about to apply the oil all over my hair. So, not only do I usually put the oil on my scalp, but I also put it throughout my hair so my hair isn't extremely dry. Because when your hair is too dry, it breaks off, and that's exactly what it did. So, I'm trying to prevent from that by keeping it oiled um, and keeping it moisturized. So right now I just rinsed out the conditioner in the oil and now I'm about to apply the curl stretcher and I'm about to put probably like a quarter size amount in my hand and I'm going to just rub it through. Um, personally, it works really well with my hair and with my curl pattern. Um, I just had to make sure I put it all in my hair thoroughly like you see how thick that my hair is. So I just had to make sure I applied it real well to my ends as well as to my roots. And um, I rinsed it out with cold water instead of warm water. I don't want my hair to be striped, I mean stripped, <laughs> sorry. Um, and then I normally leave this in my hair for three to five minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out again with cold water. Um, you're not supposed to leave it in your hair. So um, after I rub it through, I'm just gonna rinse it out. Okay, so this is after I rinsed off the curl stretcher and now I'm just going to pat my hair a little dry, not fully dry, and I'm just going to comb right through it. Now, I had a problem um, combing through it and it got a little tangled because I believe I didn't comb through it but when I had the curl stretcher in my hair. So I'm kind of struggling a bit, but now I'm going to put it into sections. Okay, so after I put my hair into sections, now I'm doing the back first. I normally do the back first just because it's the hardest for me to see and for me to feel. But I put the product on my hair. My hair is still wet, just keep in mind. And I split my hair into two and I start to twist. Now normally the way that I twist is the way that I um, turn my hair and when I twist it up into a knot and just keep in mind that you're supposed to add product at the ends please get those ends because if you don't your ends will be looking straight and not curly when you take the knot out but all you do is just use your one hand and use the other hand to hold the knot in place while you excuse me while you um twist your hair around and make sure you tuck the ends so that way that the knot will stay and I will be doing that all throughout my hair. Um, I do about a good amount of my hair. And also just comb through it as soon as you put the um, product in there. Just so it will be easier um, to twist. Because if you don't, it will become matted up and it will become tangled again. And you just have to go through a whole process. Now, when I was doing the back, I kind of messed up. Because I didn't really, um, I didn't really um, split my hair in a, an equal section which is fine i mean however you do it is however you do it i have i'm still learning and i'm still learning to go about a certain way so you just have to feel your way through and just you know keep practicing practice makes perfect but now i'm about to just go through the rest of my hair um with the bantu knots
It's your way, pour some drinks, just a couple. I know you've been through pain, there's some things. Okay. This is the finish look of my hair. Um, I had to keep wetting my hair because I didn't have like a little bag to put over it so it could like stay hydrated. So I had to keep wetting my hair. But other than that, um, I tried to party in good sections. I don't think I did good in the bag per se because. Like, this takes up a whole side and then this whole back is a little corny. So I'm not sure if the back is going to look right. But I don't know this is the finish look. So um, tomorrow I will take these out. I'll take these out tomorrow. Let my hair fully dry. Take like a whole day. Yeah, so that's the finish look. And... This is the next day, and I'm currently just taking my bantu nuts out. When I take them out, I normally use coconut oil, as you can see, and I just gently, it may not look like I'm gently going through it, but I am. I'm gently going through it, and you just untwist the opposite way that you twisted them, and you just let them go freely. I usually do that one at a time, so I usually just take them out, excuse me, section by section. <laughs> Um, I just sprint. <laughs> I usually take it section by section and I go through it with the coconut oil that way it adds some extra shine and that it's more loose when it comes down instead of it being dry and crunchy uh, dry and crunchy and sorry y'all I was receiving some tea from my roommate there so if you see me talking that's why I'm talking but yeah yeah um, that's what I'm doing so now you about to watch me go through my whole head this is the finished look guys and look how beautiful and shiny and full that it looks and it has so much body i'm so proud of myself um, this is not the first time I've done Bantu Nas, but this is the first time I really recorded it and actually filmed it. Um, this is the first time I actually picked out my hair too, and I actually like that look. But if you want more looks like this or different hair looks, let me know in the comments below. Um, make sure you give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I will list all of the products that I've used in my subscription box I'm sorry, the description box. Girl, what am I talking about? But thanks for watching, y'all. Um, be on the lookout for more videos.